guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel where we focus on using everyday materials to make beautiful things. So today I'm gonna play with some more of those salt dough things that I that I made last week. You might remember um, we took the salt dough horses and made magnets. We decoupaged some fancy papers and we put yarn manes and tails on them and glued magnets to the back uh, to make some magnets out of those. So I had these flowers that I did uh, in a mold. So remember I used um, the silicone candy mold and the salt dough, which is just flour, salt, and water. And there's a whole bunch of recipes available. Just Google salt dough. Uh, and because I'm, I'm trying to remember what my proportions were, but I, I don't remember off the top of my head. I want to say it was four cups flour to one cup salt to maybe a cup of water, but I'm not sure. So please, please Google it before you make it. Um, anyway, then remember I just pressed it into the silicone candy molds and made some different, uh, different flowers. So at first I had thought that I might use these for embellishments in the middle of clusters um, or on the top of a, of a journal. And I still think you could do that, but they are a, they are a little fat. And so I'm concerned that they're a little too fat uh, really to go into a journal. Maybe something on top of a journal would be okay, but I think it's too, it's too fat to go in a journal for sure. So I decided I might um, make some little earrings and pins out of them as another kind of spring gift um, that I might, you know, give somebody for Easter or springtime or Mother's Day or something like that. Um, just as a homemade little something um, that was that's cute. So here you can see I have uh, one of the flowers and, and two of the, you know, one of the bigger flowers and two of the smaller ones for uh, earrings and a pin. Um, I suppose you could make the bigger ones the earrings maybe if you, you know, drilled a hole and put a dangle on it. Um, but I'm thinking these I'm just going to put like a little flat back. Uh, earring back on it and then just a little pin back um, maybe maybe you know the kind that has just the little flat piece and the the stick pin that goes through uh, that has the little butterfly clip so I'm thinking I'm gonna do that with with these um, and I have I have more of the big ones than I do the small ones so I have extras that I was was playing with uh, I really like this one too so this one's I think pretty um, these I made by decoupaging napkins over, and that's what I'm gonna do with these because I really like them better. Uh, I have a few here that, I, like I said, I had some extra larger flowers. So these, I used um, the Art Glitter Faux Velvet. So Jagger is the red and Suede Shoes is the blue. So it's just like glitter, only it's really soft, like flocking. So um, that's the product that I used on those. I was at an art glitter store. Um, gosh, I don't remember what town I was in. Uh, some town that Je that Lockenbar and I, you know, went to just to, to knock around on a weekend. Um, and then I did one in glitter and I don't really care for the glitter. So I'm probably gonna go back and do something over that. Uh, but I thought we would we would make some of these. I think this one with the darker center is really pretty. Um, and so this one is, is still drying. Uh, so when it's dry, we'll, we'll dress it up with a little bit of paint. But I thought I'd show you how I made those because I, I think those are kind of fun. And I just used some napkins. Um, this one was a, a different napkin than I had. There was, I only had one and it was only one piece left. Um, but these, uh, both of these and the small one, were made from, from napkins here. So I have um, some napkins here that have flowers on them that I could use uh, some lar the larger ones for a pin and the smaller ones for earrings. There's another small one up here. Um, I also have these which I realize are fall, but the sunflower I think is really pretty. Um, and I have some of these that look more like mums. So, you know, that would be about the right size for that. And you wouldn't really see that it's it's fall. It would just look like a yellow orangey flower. And so, of course, uh, there's two on each one. So it would be easy to make 
matching earrings and a, and a pin. Um, maybe the bigger sunflower here, which would be about here, you know, for the pin. And then these for the earrings, maybe. Um, so I've got those. And then I have this one, which is just leaves. So again, it's fall. I have a lot of fall napkins. Apparently I don't have very many spring ones. Um, it's it's fall, but I think the colors are pretty. So, you know, I think if you have the yellow, like if I went with a yellow or something, it would be more, you know, that would be more the color we would see. So I'm going to try uh, different ones, but I think I'm going to go ahead and, and do the bunny one for sure with the spring flowers because I know I like it. And get my little, uh, separate my napkin here. And of course, we could just paint. I mean, it's you can always just paint the the little flowers, but that that seems like maybe you know <laughs> the last resort because there's nothing else to do to it. So I'm just gonna cut this down to a more manageable size. The polka dots are cute, but the the piece is too small. To really show those so I'll save those for another another project okay so let's see I've got two earrings and a pin so let's see which one should I do um, I've got two little roses and these are rose petals so there's that one would fit that was okay. So I think I'm going to do the two little pink roses on the earrings, and then we'll do the larger kind of orangey rose on the on the pin. Okay. So this is very much like doing it on paper. Um, I am using I am using uh, Universal Wallpaper and Border Adhesive. Um, that's my glue of choice when I am gluing large things down. Um, it's, it's inexpensive. It does a great job for uh, decoupaging, that kind of thing. Um, I bought it first. When I first bought it, I bought it because I was uh, upcycling um, a, a baby changing table into a cart to use at school. Um, I was only part-time in the classroom and so I had an office part-time in the classroom part-time and so I traveled because I was only a couple hours a day in a classroom so it didn't make sense for me to have you know a classroom to myself. Um, so because I traveled and, and went in other people's classrooms on their prep I needed a cart. So I, I had a cart that I had um, covered. I, I painted all the pieces of the cart and then the, the bottom shelf and the, the top shelf. Um, I decoupaged butterflies onto, onto the shelves. Um, my husband bought some industrial kind of wheels and put the wheels on for me. Um, he drilled some some holes in the the top shelf and and put some metal like restaurant uh, cups dropped some metal restaurant cups in there uh, to hold my markers and things um, and that's really you know all there is to it uh, so that it made a really great card um, right now it's sitting in my husband's classroom because we're not really sure we want to get rid of it um, but I'm not, I'm not using it right now because I am no longer teaching. I might go back someday, you never know. He has a few years till retirement, not many, like three. And then, uh, and then he'll be done too. So in the meantime, he has room in his classroom for the cart, so we're just storing it there. And, you know, one of our friends ends up having to travel from classroom to classroom. We'll probably just give it to them. So the, na the napkin you can see 
is just sort of tearing, but it's also not necessarily covering the sides. I would like it to cover the sides, but if it didn't, that's okay. Um, we're gonna go back with some kind of uh, metallic paint and and dress them up a little bit. So you can see on this one, I just kind of hit the highlights uh, and this one too. So that really helped. And, and I put some on the sides too. So it kind of, you know, kind of covered where it didn't, where the napkin didn't go, um, which is fine. Okay, one more. This is pretty quick, so you can see it's going, it's going really fast. Oops. Um, I am coating the sides with glue, hoping the napkin will stick, but it's also, you know, lots of ridges and stuff, so it doesn't necessarily want to. And the top is, you know, kind of got some sharp edges. So by the time you zip it down there, you might get it to stick on the side a little and you might not. And if it doesn't, that's okay. So I'm having a lot of fun with these little salt dough things um, because they, they seem to be really versatile. And so see, this one doesn't have a lot on this side, but a couple of this side got some, so it's fine. I just wanna make it make sure it's stuck down so that the texture is, is still there in the middle of the flower. Okay. All right, that first one is dry. Um, I had just done that before I turned the camera on and this one's pretty dry too. Uh, I don't, it doesn't have to be super dry before the next step. You just want it to not be so wet that the glue, you know, that, that the glue's gonna come up. So I am using a metallic rose gold uh, paint. This is from Plaid. It's just a craft paint, uh, folk art, you know, Plaid metallic finish acrylic paint is what it says. And so I am just gonna dab some out. You could use a Q-tip to do this. I like my fingers um, because I feel like I have more control. So I just get a little bit on my fingers and I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges and you know, blend in what's there and put just a little bit of paint on the dough that's showing. It's okay if I don't get it down in all the edges. It's just meant to you know give it a little patina you could use a brighter gold. You could use an antique gold or a copper. Would be um, really pretty, I think. You could use a color if you wanted to use uh, some color pink or something from, from the napkin to blend it, then that would be fine. So you can see, I, I'm not worried about covering every single little thing, but I have blended it so that it's not really noticeable where it's not covered. And then I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of hit the top really lightly so that all of the little uh, edges show up. I just want, you could dry brush it. If you wanted to do this with a brush, you could. You could totally just dry brush it. But like I said, I like to use my fingers and. I'm kind of a mess, and so I, I like it to be a mess. Well, I don't like it to be a mess, but I'm okay with it when it's messy. <laughs> okay, so you can see I've just kind of hit the edges and I've hit the, the high spots where the, the texture sticks up. And that just gives it a little, just a little something extra. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one too. If you haven't made salt dough in years and years and years, since you were a kid, maybe. <laughs> or maybe never, maybe you've never made it. Maybe maybe you did it when you were a kid, but maybe you didn't. It's, it's a lot of fun. You can do lots of little fun things with it. So remember though, if you want to 
um, use it as some kind of ornament or something like at Christmas. You have to poke a hole in it before you let it dry. Um, but otherwise, you can just paint it and do stuff with it. Um, you could, you know, you could make uh, animal cutouts and, and let your kids play with them. They could paint them. You know, it doesn't have to just be at Christmas. You could make a, you know, farm animals. Depends on what kind of cookie cutters you have. Let's see. Just a little more there. So there we go, just a little bit. That metallic, I think, just gives it a nice little bit of depth. So we're gonna do the same thing to the earrings. And when the paint is dry on these and they're, they're good and dry, I'm just gonna go in with some glue and glue the backs on, glue the little earring bags. You can just buy those at the craft store um, if you have some old jewelry that's broken, you can you can use the backs off of those. So that's a lot of what I use is stuff that I have that's broken that I've taken apart because I'm you know it's broken, so I've used the beads or something for something else, and I still have the jewelry findings. Um, so I think that would be this would be really cute on hair bows. Like you could put this in the middle of a hair bow, and it would be really cute. I think. I mean, salt dough will break, but it's it's not, you know, it's not delicate. You'd have to, you'd have to, you know, really hit it hard to break it, I think. Um, I have dropped, see the difference between this one with the paint and this one without? How much more depth the paint gives it, just a little more life. Um, I have, I have dropped these several times already, so when I was moving them, uh, from the little storage box I put them in to my to my work table today. I knocked several of them off and they didn't break and they didn't even crack. There's There are a couple that have some cracks, but they're from drying. The cracks were there when they dried, um, but not, they're not the ones I dropped. <laughs> so, and if you put you know, a napkin like this over it, if you decoupage something like this, then that covers any crack you might have anyway. So there we go. So we have this cute little metallic um, pin and earrings, or you, as a, again, you could put it on a hair bow. Um, you could glue button covers to it. Uh, you could use it in your, in your journal, but probably on a cover because they're, they're kind of, they're kind of fat. Uh, to be used, you know, they're kind of wide to be used on the inside of the journal, but certainly, certainly on the front cover, they would be good. Um, so I hope you en enjoyed this little, you know, quickie, what can you do with, what can you do with those little salt dough ornaments? Um, remember, we started with this, and we got this, uh, with just a little bit of a napkin, a glue, some glue, and a tiny little bit of paint. So, uh, if you found some value here, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, remember to um, turn on the, the little notification button so you don't miss a thing. Um, until I see you next time, remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.